Hi, this is CBRadioMagazine.com, and we're going to discuss how to do a frequency modification to the Magnum 1012 radio. This is the Magnum uh, Export, or uh, 10 and 12 meter ham radio. It's a single sideband uh, AM-FM handheld radio. And uh, this radio, I've uh, done a review on my website, and I also have some other videos I'll post about operation, all the features and everything. But... This radio is kind of unique in the sense that it can be used as a 10 or 12 meter radio. You can have it set up like that. Or you can have it set up as a CB radio just to cover the standard 40 US uh, CB channels. You can set it up to do the uh, United Kingdom 40 CB channels. Uh, you can set it up to do uh, a large frequency range from uh, 25.165 up to 29.655. Uh, that's uh, on the fives uh, on the, the kilohertz uh, adjustment or you can have it go uh, from 25.160 up to 29.650 uh, megahertz on the zero raster so it tunes on the zeros. Uh, there's also a, uh, a German uh, 80 channel CB setup where it goes from 26.565 to 27.405 uh, and on that setting it only does uh, a one watt dead key on AM uh, in terms of output. So all a little bit different. You can set it up uh, in these different uh, formats. Um, there's a European way to set it up uh, on that way and there's also some other zero rasters options. But let's show you at least how to do the frequency modification. Uh, when you get the radio from the factory it is going to be a setup for 10 and 12 meter use only. And uh, to perform the modification what you have to do is you have to do a little soldering, uh, desoldering actually, to remove some solder off a couple of contact pads. Those pads are located under the push to talk button and what you'll do is you'll actually pull out the rubber button and it'll expose the push to talk button and then it'll expose these little solder pads. So let me zoom in and we'll discuss those. Okay, we'll try and keep this as still as possible here. So we'll pull up the push to talk button and you'll see the uh, push to talk actual switch underneath here. And you're gonna see five solder pads. Now these solder pads here, these are part of the push to talk switch. So you're not gonna, you just ignore those. And you'll see uh, five contact points. Now I've uh, taken a little solder off of there. I didn't do the best job. I didn't have a, my normal desoldering equipment. So it doesn't look super fancy, but this is uh, what it would look like if it was completely desoldered. And then there's a pad here, here, and then there's two more over here. Um, so their total is five of these little pads. It'll look like this, uh, golden color there. There'll be five of those. And from the factory, you'll see solder connecting the two just above that first golden uh, pad there. And you'll see solder connecting the two over here. So it'll be one, two, three, and one, two there. And you're going to remove the solder. Uh, you can try and remove it completely. That's the best thing to do. I didn't get it all off of there. But if you remove the solder completely off of both of these, then it uh, can be set up into the expanded frequency mode. So uh, once you've done that, uh, we can go into the different frequencies. Now the best thing to do uh, to set this up is uh, when you want to do it to set into any of the codes that you want, what you need to do is short out uh, pad 1, which is the first one here that's uh, the golden color, and pad 2 right above it. If you short these out with a little piece of metal while you turn on the radio, it, the radio will then give you the option to choose any one of the 10 different formats um, for setting it up. So what we'll do is we'll short this out and we'll turn it on and uh, it takes two hands to kind of short it out here because you have to use a piece of conductive metal you don't want to touch anything else here just that first little location second pad location short them out while you turn it on that will enable the option to be able to go in and choose the type of mode uh, programming that you're going to have on the radio for which type of uh, frequencies you want to cover so we're going to do that and then show you what it looks like okay we're going to zoom in here on the screen the display is showing us we've shorted those two pins, uh, the two pads, one and two. We've turned on the radio, 
and it's asking us which menu we want to operate in. Now this first menu is going to be uh, the ham radio basic option zero, which is going to be a 10 and 12 meter uh, mode radio. So it'll be down in the 24 uh, megahertz and then up in the 28 megahertz. Uh, if we use the up button, you'll see it's gone to code number one. This is going to be 10 meter band uh, from 28 megahertz up to 29690. Uh, if we go to number two, this is a 12 meter band. Code number three is uh, kind of the typical export CB 11 meter, uh, 10 meter band uh, option. So you're not going to get down into the 2400 uh, megahertz. This is going to be 25.165 to 29.655 uh, in code three here. Uh, so that's kind of typical of most of the export radios uh, that you get these days. Uh, this is option four. This is the same kind of thing as option three, and this is on the zero raster instead of uh, the five. Code D. This is the German uh, 80 channel CB uh, option, and that's uh, 26.565 to 27.405. This is the EU option. Um, this is going to be uh, uh, 26.965 to 27.405, and this is a uh, one watt output on AM. This is the E option here. And this is uh, uh, the same frequencies as the EU option, except it's not the one watt on uh, AM. This is the PL option here. This is uh, same. Uh, this is actually this is going to be 26.960 to 27.400. This is also on the zero raster. And this is going to be uh, code U1. This is a UK 40 channel, uh, 27.601 uh, to 27.991, I believe, on that one. And then it jumps up to US code. And once again, this is going to be US CB radio uh, option. If you put it in this mode, um, <clears throat> the band option will work like uh, channel 919 switch. Uh, It'll be the standard 40 channels. It'll rotate through. You can put it in a channel mode and actually rotate through the 40 channels. So very neat on this radio. You can set it up uh, to do all these different types of frequencies. And so uh, we'll go to option three here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll turn off the radio. And now we'll turn the radio back on. You see it tells us which uh, code we're in. So we'll go function uh, frequency here. And you'll see now uh, it's showing us 27.0650, and we can start pressing that band switch, and you'll see it'll take us through those bands of frequencies. So now, uh, now this uh, Magnum 1012 is going to take us down from the 25, 26, 27 megahertz, 28, all the way up to 29. So we can easily get into the CB frequencies here and go through those. So. Very neat. Uh, that's the frequency modification for this radio. Uh, once again, this information is uh, also on uh, CB Tricks, always a good place. They have the written explanation with a couple of pictures, and they actually show that band plan written out, which is nice. Um, so that information is on CB Tricks, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We're going to try and post a couple other videos on the operation of this neat radio.